I started this journey last Saturday. I'm ending on this Saturday. It's been a good week. I went to one lake right here, this lake, got two rings. Then the next lake I went to, I got seven rings. Then the next lake I got three rings. The next, next lake I got a rubber ring. Then the next lake I got one ring. Then the lake I went to today, got three rings. And uh, this is where I started my journey. You didn't get anything here, but check that out. That's a lot of rings. How many were there? Did you keep count? gentlemen we're on the road today it's a Saturday I just came out of my church I actually had to do a funeral uh, this morning I had to uh, one of my deacons in my church passed away and uh, so God rest his soul and uh, we finished up at the church and saw the family off Ooh, big bumps there and uh, so I'm on my way out to the lakes today I am trying to get one more water hunt in for the season so don't forget, somewhere in this video, I'm going to be shooting, I'll uh, be telling you about a trivia question. And uh, that trivia question, if you're the first one to answer, and uh, in the comments, you'll get a Preacher Digger sticker and possibly something else, a little surprise. And uh, so I don't know where I'm going to put it. It could be at the beginning, the middle, the end. It could be right now. You never know. Uh, so be listening for it and watching for it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, I ask you to go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you really want to keep up with the latest videos, hit that bell button. And that's going to notify you as soon as my videos are uploaded. And uh, we'll uh, uh, let you know. And I appreciate it very much. And so I will see you out in the water. Well, I made it out to the lake, but I forgot my sunscreen. Oh, I'm so fair skinned. I'm going to get so burnt. So let's jump in the water and see what we can get. Well, I just got out here and uh, I hear about chest deep water and I got a real jumpy low signal and uh, ended up being a, a class ring. And so uh, 2017, I'm drawing attention so I'm going to shut it down here. So uh, so I'll, maybe I can find out who the owner of this one is. So 2017 class ring, it's a girl's ring. All right, let's keep on going. came over here on the other side of the lake just kind of making my way through people digging all signals and I got a real scratchy 45 and uh, looks like I have got preacher digger has found his cross a cross ring it's a stainless ring with a cross engraved in on it pretty nice ringing up as a solid 45 well it's kind of scratchy 40 to 45 but my second ring in my, my uh, second sweep across the lake. So uh, I don't think this lake's been hunting. So I hope I'm not jinxing myself. So I'm going to keep on going. This was about chest deep of water. The other was a little bit about uh, mid chest deep. And uh, so I'm going to keep working myself as people clear out of here. Uh, definitely going to, instead of trying to hit three lakes, I may just focus on this lake here and hit it really good. And uh, so that's two rings in about 30 minutes. All right, let's keep on going. Well, I moved on to my uh, second lake for the day. This is the lake I came to first, and uh, it was just packed, and it's still pretty packed, but it's, it's late in the evening, so 
lot of people ought to be clearing out of here. I bet there's 200 people or more out here, and uh, so I bet there's a lot of good stuff. So I'm going to hang out and, and uh, kind of work it late, and then I'll do the other lake I was going to go to uh, today. I'll do it tomorrow or on Monday. And so I got uh, some more lakes, so it's going good. Got two rings so far, so uh, enough talking. Let's get in the water. As you water. can see, it's it's packed. So let's get in the water and let's see what we can get. Back out the lake today. It's the one close to my house. I got a couple hours for church tonight and I have to teach on my Bible study. So I thought I'd come out here back a couple hours and see what I could find. Found those two rings yesterday at the last lake and headed up to uh, north at a big lake I haven't been to all year uh, tomorrow. So let's uh, see what we get here in the next couple hours. Got this pair of sunglasses. Uh, they hung in my coil and my coil went crazy. Pulled my coil up and there they were stuck in it. I don't know what kind they are. Uh, can't tell. Anyway, now I school sunglasses. I don't know if somebody might have lost them pretty recently here. All right, let's keep on going. I haven't found anything with these glasses. Well, I made it out to my location. This water is frigid cold, I tell you. Comes off of a river. And uh, so uh, each time I've hunted this, I've had some pretty good success. So hopefully today will be no different. We'll find some good rings for you. So uh, let's get used to this water. Let's jump in, see what we get. Well, got my first uh, good target. It's my first third target, and it looks like a rose gold ring. I have to look at it later see if it's real. I don't think it is, but I think it maybe maybe it is. So let's keep on going. I got a 49. It looks like it's going to be a, a stainless steel ring. That's what it looks like. It's going to be like a spinner. But hey, I've been out here 15 minutes. Got two rings already, so that's a good sign. Well, I'm about uh, six feet away from that other ring, and I've just got a rose gold ring, that of a crown. Check that out. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Bringing up like a uh, 64, 65. So, hey, three rings in less than 30 minutes. This is a good sign. We may get some more stuff out here, so let's keep looking. my fourth ring this is another stainless steel ring marked nana and uh, it's kind of one of those rainbow uh multi-color translucent type of uh stainless steel rings but anyway that's my fourth ring out of here and i've only been here about 30 minutes at the most so uh i'm, I'm i've only gone from knee deep to waist deep i'm not even out in the rest of the water yet so this is uh, a worthy trip i usually come at the end of the year and uh, it paid off, so four rings is worth my trip already, and two golds, two rose golds, and two stainless. That one may be a junker, I don't know, I'll have to look at it later in the wrap up. But hey, I'll take it, let's keep on going. Uh, that other uh, stainless steel ring, just right there, and I'm, I'm about just three feet away from that one, and got a white gold men's uh, wedding band. Or maybe a woman's wedding man, I don't know. It's a white gold though, 14 karat. I looked on the inside. I have no clue what this is. It's uh, a crown and it's silver, but it's way too little to be a ring. Look at that, it's broken. It could be a toe ring maybe, I don't know, but it's, uh, it's a crown. I'll get a close up later on, but wow, it rang up as a 55. All right, let's keep on going. All right, it's been one hour, one hour. This is my sixth ring that I've taken out of here. Uh, 
So eight rings all together on this trip. This is my sixth ring. I've been wanting a silver ring and I finally got one. Ringing up as, eight, as an 84. Got the gold, got the silver, got the stainless. Let's work on the tungsten or some more gold, big gold. All right, let's keep going. Got a little butterfly that's uh, ringing up like a 48, but when you turn it over on the back of this, it says 925. All right, let's keep on going. Well, I've got my uh, eighth ring here. Uh, I don't think it's silver. It's ringing up like an 85, but I think it's going to be a some type of alloy or, or aluminum or something. It's got a, a name on the top of it. It's camo. It may be silver. I have to. It's got a marking in it, but I can't read it right now. I'll have to look at it later on. So uh, this is my eighth ring in an hour and 15 minutes. Actually, about an hour and 20 minutes, but uh, who's counting? I am. <laughs> Let's keep on going. I'm not even chest deep in water yet. Now that was a good swim hole. Came out of there with I think eight rings, uh, seven, seven or eight rings, and I lost count. That's good when you go to tech, hit a swimming hole, and you lose count how many rings. One of 14 karat white gold. So I'm going to uh, head over to another lake. It's about an hour drive from here, but since I'm this far away from home, whew, I'm out of breath. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it too. Um, so on this video, I've got up to 10 rings now, and uh, my record in one day is 12 rings. So I've got uh, eight today. So let's see if I can get uh, four more at this next swim hole. All right, I'll see well, you. I made it on location to my next lake. There's two swim areas on this lake. I've been at this one. This will be my fourth time. Twice I've struck out nothing, and one time I came here and got four rings. So uh, we'll see. Yeah, maybe we'll move on to one more and see what that has uh, later on today. All right, let's get in the water. Ah, it's getting a 49 signal. I've dug a bunch of pull taps right now. It's one of those stainless steel rings. It's got a name on it. Uh, I don't know the name. I can't see it. Anyway, that's uh, ring number eight. Eight for the day. All right, 10 for the video. All right, let's keep going. All right, I think I moved maybe six feet from that other, uh, that ring and got a silver engagement band, wedding band. It's a uh, stamp 925. It's ringing up kind of low, like a 73, 74, but, uh, but it says 925 on it. So that's ring number 11 and number nine for the day. All right, let's keep going. Well, I've got those two rings here, and it's been silent for about the last 45 minutes. I haven't got anything else but a lot of money. Uh, I'm up into my waist now. I'm going to work on up to about knee deep, and then I'm going to go on over to the other area. But it's a, it's a nice swim area. It's kind of long. Not too deep. I can get all the way out to the buoys out there in the middle. But, uh, but yeah, got two rings off the bat, but then nothing else. So it's going to take a breather here, hit the rest of it, shoot over to the other area. And whatever I get is what I get. All right, let's keep on going. Not too long after that last video, I was working at waist deep, and I'm about knee deep, a little bit, about mid thigh deep. And can you hear that? It's 81, 82 to 83, and it's right. It's not very deep. Let's see if I can go get it. Well, I'm on my knees right now. All right, that's ring number three out of here. All right, let's keep on going. That's 12 rings for the day. I mean, uh, for the trip on this video, and I think that's uh, uh, what is that? 10 rings for the day. Uh, I think I don't know. I've, I've, I've lost count. Isn't that great when you lose count 
on how many rings. All right, so I'm gonna keep working this shallow because I know there's some in here. All right, let's keep on going. We're at the last uh, swim area, so gonna it's kind of small. Take me about 30 minutes. We'll see, and uh, I'll show you what I got. So let's get in the water. Like I always say, I like to try to put a trivia question in uh, my videos. And uh, the trivia question for this video, and if you're the first one to answer correctly in the comments, I'm going to send you a Preacher Digger sticker, and I'm going to send you probably something a little bit different. Uh, something different, you know, something else along with that uh, sticker. And I don't know what it may be. It may be something good, maybe something... Uh, just you know common I don't know it just depends on how I feel but anyway here is my trivia question to uh, today on this video back in February I went detecting in England and I went with several other youtubers and uh, and we called ourselves a certain name what did we call ourselves in that YouTube video that I made, and also with all of our, all of us, ten, uh, all of us YouTubers that win? What do we call ourselves? Okay, first one to answer that correctly will win a preacher digger sticker and maybe something else. So good luck, and I'm almost to the lake. I'll see you out in the water. Well, I'm at a new lake today. Uh, Hurricane Laura is going through, and we see the after effects of all that. It's kind of moving away from us now, moving into Oklahoma. Uh, Arkansas so I brought my long handle scoop and my detector as you can see swimming area is completely empty so I'm going to detect and I'm going to put my long handle scoop out further and see what we come up with got two more spots hit today I'm going to go out tomorrow on Saturday and we'll call this a video I've got 12 rings so far uh, that's the most I've ever gotten in a video I'm gonna to try to beat my record so let's go get in the water see if we can find a few more rings let's get at it Been out here about an hour, uh, maybe about 30 45 minutes, really. And just got some coins, a lot of bottle caps. But I got my first good signal here, it was a 72, it's jumping all around. But check that out, it's a sterling silver turquoise bracelet. I'll take that any day, that's nice. That'll clean up really nice, too. It's marked 925 right on the back here. All right, I'm about finished with this uh, swim area. I'm gonna start doing the long handle scoop and see what we come up with. So Let's keep on going. Well, I've done detected this area, found that bracelet. It's the only thing I found. I've been doing the long handle scoop, as you can see here. I've been doing it, and I just pulled this up. Check this out. It scared me. I finally got a, another ring out of here, but when I picked it up, ah, it's rubber. It's one of those rubber wedding rings. I thought it was going to be a big old tungsten ring or a, a way it looked, you know, black, grayish like that. I thought it might have been silver. Hey, if there's one of these out here, there's got to be some more rings out here deeper. I'm going to stay a little bit longer on this end and see what I can find. So let's keep at it. As you can see, I'm out here in uh, shoulder deep water. That's about five foot, I'm 6'2". I think I've just dug the weirdest thing I have ever found in my entire life. It was ringing up a 57 and it is in a glass tubular thing with a top on it. You can see that it is a necklace, but it looks like some type of tooth, like a vampire tooth. It's going to a point. And you can see, what is that? It's in a glass thing. I'm not going to open it up. But gosh, it's a, it's a, like a fang in a glass tube. And it was a necklace that somebody wore. That is so weird. That has got to be the weirdest thing. I thought the gold teeth and the ear gauges and all that was weird. Some of the dope pipes I've dug, but this, this beats it all. A vampire tooth? Is that what that is? If you know what this is, comment in the uh, in the section below. But it looks like you can unscrew the glass thing. I'll get a close-up on that on the wrap-up. But that is so weird. I, I know you can't see it on this GoPro very good, but gosh, that is so weird. A fang in a tube. Oh, man, I've seen it all now. I probably brought it up when I was I was uh, doing that long handle scoop. You know, I'm bringing all that stuff up, and then I'm going back on that line. And I probably brought that up from the deep. 
I ought to throw it back in the deep. I don't know. Maybe I should go get some garlic and start wearing some garlic or something. I don't know. All right, let's go find a wooden stake, all right? Let's get out of here. I moved on to another lake today. Got these little, little silver, I don't know, they're two little rods. Uh, they're on a chain. I don't know what they are. Ringing up real staticky like a 27, but I know they're, they're silver. They may be stainless. I uh, can't tell, but I've never seen two little rods on a chain. If you know what that is, comment below. All right, let's keep on going. Well, I found that earring. I found those two little rod things. And now I found that necklace all right here together. They must have dropped it all together. And uh, I don't know if that's gold or I don't think it's gold, but I can't have to look. It's got a stamp on it. And uh, if that's gold, I'll tell you in the wrap up. All right, let's keep on going. I ain't gonna believe this. I'm getting a 46. I found those rod, that little rod bracelet. I found that necklace. I found that earring. And I just since I found all that in that one little area, I'm, I'm on my knees right now. I'm only in about waist deep water. Uh, I just started doing a circle. That's all I'm doing, just kind of doing a circle. Got a 46, and it sounds just like a, uh, a ring. And so uh, I just reached down there and I felt it. It's ringing up 46. And, uh, and sure enough, got a ring. Somebody lost all their jewelry or they threw their jewelry out here or something. That's a necklace, that's a bracelet, that's an earring, and now that's a ring. All within three or four feet of each other. All right. I don't know if this is going to be... Let me pull my glasses up. I can't see uh, if that's going to be... I think it's going to be stainless. Ringing up is a 46. It's going to be a stainless one. But it's pretty. It's got a real nice speckle design in it. Hey, that's ring number... 13 for this video or actually 14 if you count that rubber ring I found yesterday, but hey, that's what I came out here for. Let's keep on going. If there's one. There's got to be a few more. All right, let's keep going here about two hours now I got a lot a lot of money I got some jewelry but no rings and I got my first uh, ring here it's ringing up as a 93 91 so it's a big silver ring had to clean up real nice I started getting a little discouraged uh, much of stuff that I found tons of money but no no rings but uh, this is the first one all right let's so keep on going maybe there's a few more out here Way just uh, real close where I got that silver ring. I was getting a 66, 65, 67, and it's a 14 karat gold, white gold ring. And I bet with that being white gold, I bet that diamond is real. I'll check that when I get back uh, to the house and tell you at the wrap up if it's real or not. signal and uh, it's going to end up being a silver ring. I've been digging these 81s. They've been dimes but this one turned out to be a, this is actually a James Avery arrow ring. So it's my third ring here. Two, two silvers and a gold. And so uh, there's more rings to be found. Just got to dig all this uh, targets out of here. All right let's keep on going. I think I'm going to call it a day. Call it a week. I started this journey last Saturday. I'm ending on this Saturday. I went to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight lakes. I don't remember them. I'll put them in the video. We'll have it uh, counted. But it's been a good week. I went to one lake right here, this lake, got two rings. Then the next lake I went to, I got seven rings. Then the next lake I got three rings. 
the next next lake I got a rubber ring then the next lake I got one ring then the lake I went to today got three rings and uh, this is where I started my journey you didn't get anything here but check that out that's a lot of rings how many were there did you keep count all right let's hit get home let's do a wrap up lay it all out because I have found tons of other stuff other than rings so I'll see you at the wrap up well it's been a long day I got up at five o'clock this morning drove two and a half hours to this last lake that I was going to do today and had a great, great week. But today was just a, a blistering day, 105 degrees and never did get below 100 until nearly five o'clock. So I am sunburned. I'm tired. I hit uh, a lot of lakes. I went from one Saturday to this Saturday and uh, got a lot of great stuff. Hit one lake and just uh, just hit the jackpot on that one lake, which I did that two years ago, too. And the title of that video, I put the card right here, is uh, I hit the jackpot. And uh, got a plan for about two weeks from now. I'm going to do my last video for water hunting. And uh, got one more little strategy I'm going to hit, see if I can't get a lot more rings before the season ends for me. But anyway, I'm home. i got everything laid out. Let me uh, turn you around. Let me show you what I got. All right, you can see I'm hunting with my AT Pro. Uh, discrimination on 30, one bar down sensitivity. And uh, on pro mode is what I hunt on and uh, for all you know discrimination at 30 so all my bars are up there so that's what I'm hunting with that's what I, I enjoy but wow look at this look at this haul look at all of this that's an unbelievable week there's all the trash all my aluminum all my fishing stuff man imagine this stuff in a swimming area that's all coming out of the swimming area Bunch of glasses, a bunch of doodads, I don't know, just different stuff. I brought with my long handle scoop, I brought all of that up. And uh, hair barrettes, um, some guns. I thought that was going to be a ring I had, but it's just uh, just a, a like a watch cover. All my aluminum caps, all the bottle caps, all the um, pull tabs. There's the beaver tails. Again, we got a lot of these uh, vape pens. I don't know, I think that's a vape pen too, I'm not sure. Lost vape, yeah, that's a that's a vape thing. Got a toy car. Got uh, two of those keys in the same hole. One key in another lake. Oh, look at all the money! My goodness, there's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, fifty-five pennies. Five, ten, eleven, twelve uh, nickels. And how many dimes we got? We got, that's in 10, 20, 30, 40, 48 dimes. And then I put quarters in dollars here. So I got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, is that right? 1875, $18.75 in quarters. Just look at all that money. Wow. A lot of quarters there. Got a couple of souvenir things, uh, those pennies. Oh, I did get one wheat penny, by the way, right there. Uh, here's all my earrings. Here's all my odds and ends stuff. Got a belly button ring there. Got a watch. I think these probably came off of a charm. And that's, that's silver, but I don't know what that is. And uh, the weirdest thing out of all is this, this tooth. I don't know. That is so weird. Somebody wore that around there get it focused in here that's just so weird I will put it over here with all the oddity stuff there's my necklaces uh, there's some type of little bracelet with some bars on it I'm not sure what that is they're actually silver and uh, some type of bracelet this was a nice find that's that silver bracelet that I found uh, with turquoise stones that's a real nice find there and then look at the Hall of Rings. Oh my goodness. Look at the rings that I got this time. Uh, these are my junk rings. That's just going to be a junk copper ring. This is going to be a, one of those wedding rings. Uh, rubber rubber ones. And then that's going to be like an aluminum ring. It says Oklahoma on it. These are my stainless steel rings. I have one spinner. And then, you know, what is an episode if Preacher Digger, if I can get it to focus here. Yeah, if Preacher Digger doesn't get his cross, right? Preacher Digger got his cross, so it's an episode. Another stainless steel ring. A couple of rings here. This is a real nice stainless steel. It says Aaliyah. It's got gold markings around the edge of it. And 
Nana. Nana lost her ring. Those are all the uh, stainless steel rings. These are my silver rings. A silver wedding band. A couple more silver men's wedding band. I thought today when I dug this one, this was going to be white gold diamond. I haven't tested the diamond. I don't think so. But when I got in my truck and I looked down at the mark, I did, it wasn't saying 14K. It was saying 925. So it's just a 925 ring. And it being silver, I bet that's just going to be a CZ. It's light. It's not heavy like gold would be. Uh, I did get two more silver rings here. These are James Avery rings. I dug one of these earlier in an episode. If I can get this thing to focus here. Uh, it's one of those uh, arrow through the heart or arrow James Avery. And this is a James Avery as well. These two will clean up really, really nice. It's a big, huge ring. That was ringing up like a 91 to a 93. It says, Mom. Mom loves you like God. Mom loves you like God. Amen from moms. Uh, got a class ring. I'm still doing the research. The name is not inside this ring. I know the name of the school. I'm going to have to contact the school because all I have is the, this, is the person's initials right there. And on the inside, it has a word, but it says compassion. And so, nice class ring. Hopefully, on my next water video, I'll be able to do a ring return on that one. Uh, this is a real nice ring. It's a crown. It's, it's gold, rose gold plated silver is what it is. Rose gold plated silver. If I can get this thing to focus on. Uh, so, that was a pretty ring. And then I did get a gold ring. Uh, you can feel this has got some weight to it. When you look inside, it's got a uh, 14K. Somewhere in there. There it is right there. I don't think I can get it focused in enough. There it is. I think it's upside down. But 14K gold ring. So we ended up with 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I was going for 20, but I got too hot today and had to quit. So there's all the trash. And there's all the treasure. I always say the greatest treasure is not what you can find in a lake and put out on the back of a tailgate for a video. The greatest treasure, my friend, is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. <laughs>